Hey y'all, this is Rochelle and welcome or welcome back to my channel, Rochelle's Plans. Thank you for joining me for another video and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with y'all my latest haul from Bath & Body Works. Okay y'all, so as you've seen from the thumbnail, you know that I'm going to be sharing with y'all the latest haul from the Bath & Body Works sale. So the sale now is $5.50 off of shower gel, body washes, um, I'm not sure what else, and then $6.50 for the moisturizing body wash and the full size fragrant mist and something else. But anyway, I'm going to show y'all everything that I got, but before I share with y'all the things that I purchased from this latest um, sale, I want to share with y'all what I picked up from the soap sale. They were $3.50 and I used my 20% off. In addition to them being $3.50, I also used my 20% off coupon code. And so yes, yeah, so let me show y'all just really quickly what I received or what I got. And we'll go from there because I didn't want to make another video. Okay. So y'all, this one is Cozy Almond, Cozy Vanilla Almond. I don't know if y'all can see it. Okay, there we go. And this one has notes of vanilla orchid, sugared almond, and sweet musk. It's a florally, nutty, musky fragrance. Really good. Just really soft for the softness sweet for the fall. Then I also picked up white coconut and caramel. See here. And this one has notes of coconut flakes, toasted hazelnut, and caramel swirl. So again, another fall scent. So this was the fall sale. Really good. If y'all haven't smelled this one, smell, smell this one. I like the coconut, the sweet coconut and caramel scent. That smells really good. And then I purchased, y'all, this one smells really good. Two of the cherry almond shortbread. Can y'all see that? Okay, there we go. And these have notes of vanilla shortbread, candied almond, and cherry. Now, a lot of people, or not a lot, some people say that this, smell, they wish that sugar cherry crisp smelled like this. Y'all, this smells really good. I mean, really, really good. I think there's a sale going on this weekend on the soaps so if you have not gotten your hands on this hands on this check it out this weekend and y'all today is monday labor day the sale started i want to say friday and it goes through it goes through till tomorrow but at 5 59 eastern standard time then i picked up champagne apple and honey and then this one has notes of, you know what this one is, crisp apple, sparkling champagne, and jasmine honey. Everybody knows what, you know, um, champagne, apple, and honey smells like. This is a really good one. I like this for the fall. It's not that bright tart, uh, bright tart apple. It's that fall apple. It smells really, really good. And I think, okay. And then I was going to say, I thought I had another one. This one is pumpkin pecan waffles. And this one has notes of maple syrup, golden waffles, and pumpkin spice. This smells really good. It's sweet. It smells really, really good. So I picked up one, two, three, four, five, six of the hand soaps. And y'all, I like the gentle foaming hand soaps. Is this gentle foaming or the foaming hand soaps? Yeah, gentle and clean foaming hand, hand soaps. It's uh, 8.75 fluid ounces. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six of those. And I also picked up this Sunrise Woods, the hand cream. I got this for free because I on my coupon that I had. And I only spent $18.19. So that was a good deal there. Y'all, let me tell you. Actually, my coupon had expired on that Sunday, the 27th. You know, I got this on the 28th. My coupon expired on the 27th. I went on the 28th and I was like, I asked the manager, because I go in there all the time, and she knows me, and I was like, would you mind, would you let me use this? 
even though it expired yesterday and she was like don't worry about it so yeah so i got to use my coupon a day after it expired now i don't know if she would have done that if it was a week after the fact but here we are okay y'all so now we're going to get into this week's sale items this weekend sale items but you will see here on the screen but y'all look I got the old Bath and Body Works bag. You know, I wanted the, the new bags and the, the new bags look like this, but they only had them in the small bags like this, the small mini size. And I got this because I did a pickup order because they had car fragrances for $1.95. I got four of those. I had a fifth one, but they canceled it for like $8. Okay, so that's that. Okay, I have my receipt here. Y'all purchased 13 items. For a total of $56.83. I did use my 25% off coupon. And I think that was it. Now the fine fragrance mists were $6.50. And then the body wash or body or shower gels were $5.50. In addition to some other things. Alright y'all. So this is called the Tried try to believe it i think that's what it's called sale that bath and body works has every year okay remember i told y'all in the last video don't ever buy anything full price on bath and body works because they run sales all the time you just have to be patient and wait and wait it out so the body care was 550 and i'm going to show you which ones were 550 y'all did use my 25 percent off coupon okay and i got champagne Champagne, apple, and honey. And again, well, I don't know what the notes are on this one, but this is a shower gel. Now, I'm going to tell y'all what the difference is between a shower gel and a body wash. If you didn't know. So, Bath & Body Works, they have shower gels. All these were called shower gels. But I noticed when I was purchasing that some of the labels said body wash. So I asked one of the managers, I said, what's the difference between a shower gel and a body wash? And she said that the body wash, so what they're doing is they are converting or replacing their shower gels now with the body washes. And they're doing it in stages. So whenever you go and you purchase, you may see that some still say shower gels and then some say body wash. Now the body wash has is more moisturizing because the shower gel only has aloe and vitamin e versus the body wash it says it has with pro vitamin b5 and aloe so the body wash is supposed to be more moisturizing and this one the shower gel will like dry your skin out more just know that this is the the body wash is going to be better hydrating okay and spoiler you see that i have cozy vanilla bourbon y'all so that's the difference between a shower gel and a body wash. I hope that made sense. Next up, I have the Everlasting Magic shower gel. And you guys know this has bejeweled berries, phantom petals, and magic musk. So I wanted to get another one. This, another of this one, this is from the fall, no, the Halloween line. So I want to get another one of this one. And I feel like this is can be unisex. I think I said that before in a different video. Okay. Next up is pumpkin pecan waffles. And I don't know what the notes are on this one because they don't have them on all of them. So that's that one. Pumpkin pecan waffles. What else did I get for myself? I also got pumpkin, marshmallow pumpkin latte. No notes on here either. I don't know why they don't put the notes on here anymore. And y'all, I'll do, I don't know if I'm going to do a dedicated review on all of these. I was going to say I may do a dedicated review on all of these, but I'm not sure. I don't know just yet. But stay tuned. The next one I got is Among the Clouds Shower Gel. And, well, some of these do have notes on the back. So this has Wild Berry Skies and Whipped Vanilla Clouds. It smells so good. I have this in the hand cream no not the hand cream the body cream 
the fine fragrance mist and then the shower gel. I don't necessarily get the lotions just because I like the body creams better. Now, let me show y'all what I got for my son. My husband doesn't like these. He says he needs something stronger. And I was telling him, I said, this, these are made to layer. Like, you can layer this. This is for smell goods. But he was just like, yeah. So that's why I get them for my son. So this one is coffee and whiskey. I like this and I felt that he would like it too. So this is the one that I picked up for him. And this has notes of, it says a comforting warm fragrance inspired by delicious sweet coffee with a hint of Irish, Irish whiskey. Gentle non-drying formula, nourishing rich bubbly lather for a full shower experience can be used on face and hair. He doesn't use it on his face and hair. He just uses it um, on his body. So it has aloe and vitamin E. All right. So that's what I, one of the, one of the ones I got for him. Then I got this new one, this Manhattan uh, nightcap. Now this is a three in one hair, face and body wash. What does this say? It just says shower gel, but this is a new one. And it has notes of black santal, sweet brandy, and cherry wood. This smells really good. This is a new one from Bath and Body Works. It smells really, really good. And what was the other one? He got another one. I just got him two. Of course not. So then I got the whiskey reserve. I think this is a new, a new one also. And it says, I didn't see this at first. It says apple whiskey oak on here at the bottom. Okay, and it has notes of crisp apple, single malt whiskey, and white oak. He likes these. He likes all three of these. Normally, I get him like Ocean, uh, Noir. What's the other ones? Ocean, Noir, um, Freshwater, things like that. You know, the original ones that Bath & Body Works has. So, that's what I normally get for him, but I wanted to get him something. And he has some of those. I stocked him up this summer. So he has about 10 of those. I just wanted to get him these here to um, add to his, not his collection, but to add to what he already has. So that way he didn't run out. And in Bath and Body Works, we'll be running another sale. So when they do, I'll grab some more. So I already showed y'all the Cozy Vanilla Bourbon, but here it is again. And the notes again are warm bourbon, dark fruit, and vanilla liqueur. It smells good. Liqueur. It smells, this smells really good. And this is not new. This is a, was this a spring scent? I think it was spring, the Gingham Fresh. And here's what it looks like. Okay, I don't know the notes on this one, but just a pair, a fresh pear scent. So this is a fresh pear scent. It smells really good. I haven't, I didn't get this one. I had all the other ones from the line, the gingham, the new gingham line. And I just wanted to pick this one up just to have it. Cause I think they're discontinuing it. I asked the lady, I said, are they discontinuing it or are they moving it online? And she said she didn't know. So I just picked it up. Okay. Because I did not have it in my collection. Now moving on to the fine fragrance mists y'all. So this first one, this first collection here is called the, I think it's called the fresh vanillas. I'll put a picture here and show y'all what they look like, what everything looks like in this collection. But the first one here is Fresh Vanilla Blossoms. Okay, that's Fresh Vanilla Blossoms. And it has notes of suede petals, soft sandalwood, and vanilla bean. Yeah, this one smells okay. Um... It's not just smells okay. This one smells really good. I can smell. It's airy. It's light. Think of like laundry detergent. But you know how fresh the laundry detergent. Not the dryer sheets, right? How fresh they are. And then it. you can smell the florals. That sandalwood adding, giving it that warmth. And then the vanilla bean giving it that sweetness. So this is good fresh vanilla blossoms. Then next I have cozy vanilla bourbon and this has notes of warm bourbon, dark fruit, and vanilla liqueur. And this smells good also. People have been saying that this is a repackage of Bonfire Bash. And I said before that I did not have Bonfire Bash. So I don't know what that smells like. 
but with this one right off the bat you smell like that booziness from the bourbon it kind of smells fruity and sweet from the vanilla so cozy vanilla bourbon and then the next I think that's it from that line so then the next collection is called the fall to table or table to fall and y'all so the first one here that I have is called moon moonlit martini and this has notes of vibrant fruit sparkling gin and midnight musk and I remember from spraying this in the store because this one smells good but it does smell like something I've already have. You know how it is. You buy so much stuff or a company can only make so many things before they start to smell alike. But this is bright, fruity, and musky. It smells really good. So that's why I picked it up. Even though I said I have something that smells like this, I still picked it up anyway because it does smell really good. So what is this? Moonlit Martini. I don't smell any um, liquor or anything in that one. The next one here is Sweet Whiskey. And this has notes of golden amber, vanilla infused whiskey, and sweet red berries. Let's smell this one. A lot of people like sweet whiskey. They love sweet whiskey. This is my first time smelling it. You pick up or I pick up that whiskey, like a sweet whiskey, and I can smell the berries, and it's warm from that golden amber. So, yeah. So, this smells pretty good. Uh, enough for me to keep it in my collection. I don't know what I'll pair with it yet, but what you see back here and then what I have over here, y'all, we're going to make it work. There is another, there are two other scents in this collection and they are Sunrise Woods. I already have that one, so I did not pick that one up. Because when I smelled it in the store, I, it wasn't a bit enough of a change. I mean, it was just a repackage and I'll show it here. Just a repackage of what I already have. And then I already have two body creams and then one fragrance mist. So I'll just left that one in the store. And then the other one was, what's it called? Copper Fields. That one, if you smell that one, just think about, think about a bright fall day that you're in the fields. It kind of reminds me of that golden sunflower. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, it reminds me of golden sunflower. But that copper feels, I was like, I don't really need that one. I don't really wear scents like that. I don't even know why I bought that golden sunflower. Because I think I was saying, well, you know, it's hyped up on, you know, YouTube or the internet. So I got it. I haven't worn it yet, but I have it. And um, the copper fields, I was like, yeah, I don't really need it. I don't think I'll be wearing it like that. So I didn't get it. Now, only... I have a lot, a lot, a lot of fragrance mist. So I just said, you know what? I'm only going to get scents that I really do love. And so I left that one in the store. And y'all, I have another bag here because when I went to the store initially on Saturday, I picked up my fragrance mist and my body care or my body washes. But then I was thinking, I may, I need to go back and, and get a backup of some things and just look around again just to make sure I didn't miss anything before the sale went off. And y'all, look what I did. Picked up another Moonlit Martini. This may be going back. So I don't need two of these. So this may go back. I picked up another Cozy Vanilla Bourbon. Just because, y'all, this is really good. Anything with vanilla in it or with the vanilla, it smells really good to me. I'm thinking off the bat I could pair this with like Angel Share, I'm thinking. I don't know just yet, but I'm thinking though. Um, or Donna Born and Roma, the original. So yeah, so I just said, you know, this would be a good one. So I got this one. This was backup worthy for me. Backup bottle worthy for me. 
I also forgot to show y'all that I picked up Drain Bright in the body wash. And this has notes of sapphire berries, night blooming orchid, and crystallized vanilla. So this is good. It smells really, really good, y'all. And then everybody talks about, have been talking about this Coco Shea. So I picked up two of the moisturizing body washes. Y'all, they smell good though. I got the Coco Shea here. And here's what it says. Formulated with cocoa and shea butter and clinically tested to moisturize after one shower for instant hydration and nourished skin. It says apply or fragrance, comforting and a creamy coconut. Apply, lather, rinse, feel moisturized. But y'all, this smells really, really good. So it's just coconut and shea butter, but, or not coconut, cocoa, cocoa and shea butter. What I've seen is that people are saying that it's missing the honey. Now, I did not get this when it released originally, but they, and they're wanting it back with that honey. So apparently that was a good one. So, but for right now, this is all I have to work with. So I guess I'll work with this cocoa shea, the cocoa and shea butter. And y'all, I think that is everything that I picked up from this weekend try to believe it sale from bath and body works let me know down below if you guys picked up anything and if you did what is your favorite from this fall and halloween haul i hope you all enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe and don't forget to follow me over on instagram at playing with rochelle and thanks so much for watching bye guys